Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the year. The first snapshot of Minecraft 1.21 has indeed been released. And the first item that we get to look at is the crafter, not to be confused with the crafting table. So if you didn't know, the crafter is basically going to be auto crafting in Minecraft, which is like super cool. So if I just go ahead and get some oak logs, just so I can demonstrate in the normal crafting table, you know, you do the crafting by yourself. However, in this thing right here, which by the way, the textures look amazing, amazing but if we actually go into the ui here you can see that it does look a little bit different the arrow is looking a bit weird this is looking very different and these look different as well and as you can see it says click to disable slot and that is because we can set a specific recipe for this thing uh where will we place this and as you can see this out here is going to be the output this shows us the output if i just click as you can see nothing is actually happening like i'm shift clicking and nothing is happening you the user cannot actually take anything out of this you actually have to go ahead and give it a redstone pulse not a continuous redstone signal that will only do the operation once but a redstone pulse i will demonstrate that again if i just place the entire stack of locks in there and replace this with a lever which will give a continuous signal as you can see it only does it once it has to turn off and then on again in order to do the operation multiple times and you can click to disable the slots in case you want to make a specific crafting recipe for example like this but this is mainly for when you actually want to utilize hoppers so if we take a hopper for example and we feed it directly into the crafting table and let us then go ahead and well we have the stair formed here so let's see what happens when i actually do this as you can see it very cleverly doesn't just take the first slot and fill it up to 64 and then continue to the next and then the next and the next it actually takes one at a time so one two three four five six one two three four five six so it makes sure to make sure to fill out the entire pattern before continuing that is super important and also super cool. And so you can probably already imagine like the possibilities here if you were to set this up or connect this block, the crafter, to potentially a, let's say an iron farm that then feeds iron into two slots up here and then a wood farm on the side or a witch farm, for example, somewhere where you could get sticks, which then also gets fed into this. You could automate the process of the sorts just as an example. Obviously, you can use it to autocraft a bunch of other probably more important things to autocraft than swords, but you get the point. Like for example, let's actually go ahead and automate the process of, I guess, torches. So let's do a stack of sticks and let's do a stack of coal. So I'm going to set the recipe with just one item at a time here. There we go. That is now set to make torches. And I'm going to give it two hoppers here, uh, one on top and one there. Then I'm also going to go ahead and get a quick chest just like this where we can actually store a bunch of the stuff and that should already start adding to this. However, I can disable that if I just really quickly give a vessel signal to the harbor. I believe that should stop it. Yep. And this is also going to be needing to be stopped, which means I'm going to take, what's, what's my redstone of blah, uh, yeah, smooth stone. There we go. So if I just go ahead and do this, that will stop this. So I can fill this with sticks, which means I can now control when and how many of the of set item actually gets fed into the crafter. And boom, just like that, we have 16 of each. Now, I, am, I, I should point out that I am not a master of redstone whatsoever. So right now I'm thinking of a way of when we press a specific button, like over here, for example, how can we make it so that one press of a button, basically, that, that looks stupid. So how can we make it so with one press of a button, it actually makes a stack of torches, for example. Because just by using some simple redstone like this, obviously it crafts four. But we need to do this eight times in total. This is potentially not the right way of doing it. However, I think we could potentially cheat this because the wooden button is slow to lose the signal. And if we use a bunch of repeaters, we can slow that signal down even further potentially matching the time it takes to flash basically eight times. Yeah, this could potentially work. Just you wait and see. Okay, in theory, this should uh, work. However, I kind of messed up and yeah, we're, we're gonna do it like that. I think that is potentially going to work. 
maybe just by having actually we can make sure it does just by doing this very oh no that's gonna stop the hopper though but that should flash in i don't know i guess we're gonna remove these item thingies because they're not relevant so now we have the materials going in from the craft into the crafter, maybe through a story system or something. And it is time to see if this actually will make me a stack of torches. That looks like maybe that's actually 32. That's not far off. And moment of truth again. Signal is being very much that is not working the way I wanted it to. Is it? Okay, this could potentially work. So that initiates it again, and I think, yes, that actually just made me a stack of torches, auto-crafted completely automatically. <laughs> now, obviously, this is probably not the real way to actually add proper delay and whatnot, but uh, like I said, I'm not a redstone guy, and, uh, well, this is the best I can do. I'm actually pretty happy with it, so please don't criticize me too hard in the comments. But there you go, that is specifically how to set up auto crafting. Now this is again extremely, extremely, an extremely simple use case here. And we could make it a lot more complicated. In fact, let's try and make it complicated. Can we automate the process of pistons? Can we make it so this thing can actually craft a stack of pistons just from a click of a switch. So I assume that that is going to power it. However, that is not going to work because, yeah, let's move this thing. You see, I want to be able to output the items from underneath and go somewhere else just for something else that I may want to try afterwards. So we can have a hopper here, here, and here, and then we can feed the redstone into this like, this, like so. And that means that we can have wood, uh, stone and iron feeding into it. However, I did just forget that we also do need redstone, so I am wondering if we potentially are able to do this. This is just purely for experimentation, so if we feed... First of all, we need to actually set the recipe, of course, so we're going to set... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I c Hmm. Okay. Well, right, that is not how you do that. You actually go ahead and I believe you add something like a dropper. Or can you put something into a chest? If we add that in front of it, is that actually going to... Like, if I just set this up, for example, and we set a button. There we go. So that did... Yes, so that goes... Okay, that actually makes it so much easier. So if you place an inventory in front, that could be a barrel or a chest or a dropper or anything. This part right here just basically inserts it into the chest. So we'll do that for now. Now, I, can, I should be able to finally set up the recipe, which for a piston is like so. And then, if I go ahead and fill this with redstone, fill this with iron, it should in theory... Yeah, it's going to fill up the iron first, but once all of these are actually filled up to 64, it's just going to do 1-1, one, one, right? Unless this actually gets filled up, which is not ideal. I mean, there, I know there's a way where you can have like an entire row of chests and then the redstone is actually going to turn on and off different hoppers to send individual items. Um, but there we go. Now the redstone is actually going through that and it's getting filled up. So it, 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 this is fine. That's just a showcase. Again, this is a showcase. This is just showing what you could potentially do with it if you do a proper redstone job, which I am unable to do again. But there we go. All the items are actually now being filled up. So now all I need to do in theory, again, uh, add this and it should be able to make a stack of pistons just from the click of a button. And if this method works, I could actually move this chest over one and then add another hopper and this, this stuff. But yeah, again, this could be made much nicer and much better just with a little bit of simple uh, redstone sorting uh, mechanics. But again, I, I'm not that smart. And boom, just like that, it is completely full. So now let, let's remove that for now. Let's just press this. And it should actually no, it'll it'll make sixteen. It'll make sixteen pistons because I forgot you get four torches per operation. Ooh, and this has broken. Would you look at that? The redstone is actually not coming through. That's interesting. But if we just isolate it, there you have it. Basically, with a little bit of proper redstone, you are actually able to automate 
different items that you use on a, on, I guess, daily basis, like observers, pistons, repeaters, like this, this kind of stuff, hoppers, which are things that you just want when you're doing redstone things. Like you can automate a lot of these processes as long as you have the materials for it. And things like wood and cobblestone are farmable, I guess, redstone if you had a witch farm. So in theory, you could actually set up a lot of automation for this, which I am super pumped about. You, my friend, are about to be outdated. Probably not, but th yeah, th meet, meet the crafting table's bigger brother. <laughs> ah, so this is actually interesting right here if we scroll in so it's easier to see. If there is a toggle, uh, not that, if there are no empty slots, then prioritize the smallest stack of the same item. That's actually very interesting. And also, they want to actually hear our feedback on the crafter. So if you have any feedback, I will leave a link to this blog post down below in the description. You can click this link and you can give your feedback to it. If you have any suggestions, thoughts, stuff like that. Also, another thing, the crafter UI is shared between all players interacting with the crafter, meaning that multiple players can interact with the crafter at the same time, similar to chests and hoppers. And that is pretty much it from this uh, thing right here. As you can see, actually, from this very picture here, you can actually see how they have... Okay, that's complicated stuff, which <laughs> I'm not gonna, gonna even try. But as you can see, this is basically automating the production of sticks being thrown to the player, which then picks it up and can actually trade with the villager for emeralds. Simply converting the oak logs here into planks and then into sticks, which then gets spit out, spit out to the player. Very, very cool if you have a ton of wood and maybe a ton of villagers that you want to basically feed some sticks. One thing that I wanted to try out as well, if we feed the pistons into this chest right here, so if we just do this and it does it 16 times, so we have 16 pistons in here, in theory, we should then be able to go ahead and take a hopper and I'm going to try and do something extremely fancy, which I normally, I don't know if is actually possible, but I'm going to lead it into a dropper that then is moving upwards and this, and then I think simply by putting some observers in, uh, like you and then doing that, Oh, that powers the crafter. That's okay. First of all, that is completely wrong. And oh dear me, that is disgusting to listen to. Okay, finally it stopped. But that just shows that this actually does work. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to, that's still not doing what I wanted. Basically, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to set up the automation for so, uh, making sticky pistons, basically. Aha, there we go. So I basically made it just like that. And I know you could feed from this crafter into this one, but I just wanted to add this extra step just for the fun of it. All right, so we go ahead and make 16 pistons. This system goes ahead and detects that, hey, we need to transfer stuff to this. And then th this basically can go ahead and just with the flick of switch, that's not how you do that. There, there we go. It helps if I get the recipe right myself. But there we go. That is then the automation of sticker pistons. And again, you could set something like this up to where it just, as long as the resources are there, it continuously makes it or it makes until it has a full chest or a full double chest. And you could have, then have spare items or extra stuff feeding into extra crafters with extra items such as sticker pistons. Okay, well now I need 16. Like for example, you don't need to be generous. Let's say you don't need a full chest of sticky pistons. You, you just need to make them on demand. You can make something like this where you get 16 or 32 just from a click, just like that when you actually do need it instead of it just filling up your storage. Like the, there are so many possibilities with this and I love it. And so that is basically it for this snapshot. There are some other technical changes and whatnot. Again, you can check out the blog post, but most excitingly, the crafter has finally been revealed and we get to play with it as it already in the first snapshot, obviously because Mojang wants to hear our feedback for it. So do give that uh, on that feedback post if you have any feedback to give. I just think that this is a very cool addition. A lot of people have been talking about it so far and I think that it's absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to see what Minecraft 1.21 otherwise is going to reveal. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know if you want to see more snap snapshot covering in the future. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new. It's greatly appreciated and helps out the channel a lot. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful day and 
Goodbye. Now, how many? What's that? 48. No, come on. Make a stack. Make a stack. Yeah. Boop, 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 bo